All right, in this video, we're going to do uh, another uh, one of these current diagram problems. And of course, I'm going to need triangles in order to do it. Uh, okay, so we're going to do this problem. So you get underway from uh, Chester, PA, uh, around 15, 15 daylight savings time. Okay, so uh, we're in daylight savings time, so we're going to have to add an hour to whatever we get out of the book. It's 6 August, and we're headed to C. So we're leaving Chester, PA. We're headed to C. That means we're going to be going southbound. We're going to be headed towards the mouth of um of the uh, uh delaware bay okay so chester is around mile 77 and we're going to be headed down towards the entrance all right and uh we're going to leave around 15 15 daylight savings time what uh, we'll be turning eight knots okay so our speed's going to be eight knots that's important I'm going to be headed down, downbound, southbound. So I'm going to be using the southbound speed lines, and I'm going to be using eight knot speed line because that's the speed that I they, they tell me I'm going to make. And they want what current should we expect at 14 foot bank light? So we're going to leave from uh, Chester. Where we're, right, here's Chester, and they want to know what current will we expect when we get down here. All right. So um, what we need to do is we need to find a slack near. Uh, our departure time. Okay, now why am I why uh, why am I gonna gotta find a slack? Because this table is based on uh, uh, slacks hours before a flood or hours after a flood begins. So that's that's basically uh, referencing a slack. So we gotta find a, a, a slack closest to fifteen fifteen. So um, okay, so I'm gonna go to. Uh, this is uh, off of Delaware, all right? This whole chart is off of Delaware. It's a reference station. So uh, Delaware starts on page 58 of the 1983 book. I just happen to have a photocopy of that particular page. It's a little bit small, but uh, here is um, Delaware Bay. It's August, and here is the 6th, all right? So it's a little bit small to see, but uh, there is an 0127 slack before a flood. Uh, and there is a uh, 0700 slack before an ebb. Ah, there's a 1317 slack before a flood. So 1317 is going to be um, my uh, close time. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go uh, 1317. That's the slack before flood. Okay, at the entrance. And that is ZD plus five because that's what the book is in. Now, they tell me that I'm keeping plus four, so I got to add an hour to that, okay? So it's going to be 1417. Okay, great. So now, uh, 1417 is the slack before the uh, flood. So I'll write that down, slack before flood. Okay, great. What time am I leaving? I'm leaving 15 15. I mean, that's basically an hour later. All right. So I'm going to be leaving one hour after the flood begins. Okay. So if the slack is at 1417 and I'm leaving at 1515, it's 58 minutes, but that's basically an hour. I'm leaving one hour after the flood begins. All right. So now what I need to do is now I need to find a couple of things, right? We're leaving from Chester. So I'm going to take my triangle and I'm going to find Chester. So uh, here we are. There's I'm going to put my pencil right basically here. There's Chester. And I'm going to get my triangle nice and perpendicular there. So there's the Chester line. Great. And now I'm going to be leaving about one hour after the flood. So here is before flood. Here's after flood. Okay. This is what I want right here. And here is zero hours. That's the slack. Here is one hour. So I'm going to start by plotting from this spot right here. Okay. Now I need to get my speed line. So my speed line is eight knots. So I'm going to take my triangle. I'm going to line my triangle up on the eight knot speed line over here. All right. And I'm using this thin black line instead of the edge. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide that over until I intersect Chester and one hour after. So here's where I'm going to intersect with the edge of my triangle. All right, I'm going to come over here, and there we go. That's the spot right about there. All right, I'll put my pencil down. I'll slide the triangle up against it. Now I'm going to run that down. Okay, so now I want to find 14-foot bank, and here's 14-foot bank here. So right about here. 
So then the question is, what current will I be expecting at that point? And if you look here, you can see that it's we're in this ebb area, and we're going to be between 1.3 and 1.1, closer to 1.3. I don't know, maybe that's about 1.2, uh, 14 foot bank right there. Uh, that's actually that's pretty close to 1.3. And we come over here and we look, and the only answer that makes sense is 1.3 knots ebbing. 1.7 is way too much. There's not, uh, there's no 1.7 on this. Oh, I guess down here it could be. But anyway, 1.3 is the answer, and uh, we're done with that problem.